What's going on guys? Big BB back with another Game Case Arcades video. I don't know where it stands. <laughs> What's going on guys? Big BB back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're looking at touch screens to close out the year. Mega Touch. My Touch Edition. So now this video I'm kind of hoping that it's a quick one. It should be a quick one. It's mostly going to be talking about my personal touch edition hard drive that I have. But coincidentally, I do have a mega touch that's going out tomorrow to a firehouse. So I figured, hey, why not bang out two touch edition arcade style cabinets? I'll talk about the mega touch first because honestly, I kind of just cleaned it up. New power supply. Not much really to it, but I'll give you a quick backstory on how I got a hold of this and the whole of my other mega touch where I kind of reskinned it. I did a whole video on vinyl reskin on that one, so you can definitely take a look back at that. I'll tell you a real quick story on how I get a hold of these things. So before I did this arcade stuff full time, I was in another business, and in that business we had a candy machine guy by the name of Steve. Uh, candy machine Steve, I call him. So Steve was the type of guy that he puts the vending machines in your location, you split the profits, done deal. So uh, about, I would say, I don't even remember when, it had to be about a year ago. About a year ago when I got my pickup truck and I put all my logos and I put Game Case Arcades all over the pickup truck, he pulled in to do his collections and he was like, Vic, who's that Vic VP Game Case Arcades? Is that you? And I said, yes, yeah, Steve, that's me. He goes, you're into like the arcade stuff? I said, yeah, dude, I love it. I'll either do retrofitting or I'll do custom cabinets. And he goes, I'm surprised, man, because I have arcade cabinets and then I'm making me a dime. And I was like, what? Like, what do you mean? So he's like, oh, I got, he has a big buck hunter, which you might see. I'm hoping he still has it. When I went to go pick this up, we spoke about it. I might be getting that from him. Um, but he basically has um, candy machines. He's got pool tables. He also has a, a couple of virtual poker machines, which definitely he won't make money on. I, I already told him, I was like, you, you won't make money on virtual poker, especially when it doesn't pay out, which is illegal. Um, and he also has mega touches and also the jukebox is the, the touch tune stuff. So he told me, he goes, Vic, I have a couple of mega touches. I was like, you have mega touches? Like I'm, that was before I had my personal RX mega touch. I was like, dude, I want a mega touch. Like give me a mega touch. So he's like, Vic, I'm telling you, come to the warehouse there. I have like four of them. They're in the corner collecting dust. Come in, take them. If you resell it, we'll split the profits. I said, done, let's do it. Sure enough, he gave me a Z-Back, which is the one that you saw me reskin. I was playing with it for about a week or two, and then I said, you know what? I'm not the type to just take something for free. He wanted me to sell it. Sure enough, sold it. So once I sold that one, he was shocked. He's like, you sold the Mega Touch to somebody for their home? And I was like, yeah, you'd be surprised, man. People have man, man caves now. People will, will buy our cake cabinet. So he goes, Vic, next time you're around or if I'm around, come and take another Mega Touch. So what happened was I told Steve, I said, listen, do me a favor, take pictures of the mega touches. I'll post it on Facebook. And then once I get a hit, I'll come down and I'll pick it up and then I'll fix it up. So he goes, fine, big. So he sent me a picture of a mega touch. I call it a fat boy, which is a regular mega touch. It's kind of big. Whereas this is a Z back. It's, it's a fairly big cabinet. It's thick. It's a, it's a thick cabinet. So I posted that picture on Facebook four months ago. And now somebody hit me on Facebook and was like, Hey, I want a mega touch. I had to contact Steve. Steve no longer had, no, he, he has a fat boy mega touch. He just was confused on if it was his or his partner's, but he's like, Vic, this Z-Bag is mine. Take it. So sure enough, I took it, bought it here, didn't power on. I put a new power supply in it and it booted up. The only big thing is that this is running older generation hardware. So the motherboard is older, not like my personal RX, uh, where it's an ion something like that. This one, didn't really look too much into it. It doesn't even have an, uh, a SATA connector for like an, uh, an SSD hard drive. So this one right now is running a Force 2006 Mega Touch uh, software on it. I know the marquee says 2004. The, the person that's purchasing it wanted like a 2012 or 2014. I told him you're gonna need my RX and he didn't wanna pay that price for the RX. So he's gonna have to deal with this one specifically. But in all honesty, it is a great cabinet. If you don't know Mega Touches, these are just loads of fun. They are getting very difficult to find. I'm not going to say that they're rare, but it's very rare that you find these in the wild now. But they are loads of fun, especially touchscreen stuff. It is insane. 
Let me tell you closer around the cabinet. It's a very simple cabinet. So again, I've never personally seen a Z-back until Steve gave me the first one that I sold for him. I call it a Z-back. It's not the real name to it, but I call it Z-back. If you do look up Mega Touch Ion Force, you'll see this exact cabinet. It's a great looking cabinet, very unique. I'm contemplating on building an upright arcade with this type of design. It's not like top heavy, it's, it's actually very sturdy. So it's just a very unique design. I, I love everything about it. It's got a nice little kick plate, your foot rest on it. That's a really cool kind of feature and all that. But big thing about this one that I personally love compared to my personal RX 2014 hard drive. And you know me, I am a very big fan of, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Photo hunt. This photo hunt, this is the photo hunt that is, it's amazing. The photo hunt that I personally have on my build, I wish it was this one. They did like a, re, a redo. I, the, mine, it plays music. It's, it's kind of nauseating. It's, I wish it was this one, to be brutally honest. I, I wish it was this version. This is a scary, let me, let me, let me beat this round. <laughs> so again, I wish my photo home was like this. This is just, and honestly, I feel like the clock is so much faster, but the, on mine, there's a, there's a music in the background that I can't seem to turn off, but I love that. Like when you mess up, you hear like the cartoon noises. That's like the, that, that is photo hunt. That is what I grew up with. Uh, I love this photo hunt. This is an amazing photo hunt. So now with this, I did wipe all of the high scores, which I did on my personal one only because people are smart asses and they put some crazy stuff. So this is going out to a firehouse. Uh, with his approval, he did want this kind of option still available. So that's there. Um, but he was, he was very fixated on getting the 2014. I told him all the classic stuff that you're thinking about, like, um, hoop Jones and QB stuff, the QB quarterback game. It's, it's in this monster madness. 11 ball is another classic game. This, this is like amazing. This was definitely for me, it was childhood. I would pump quarters and dollars into a dollar bill, except it works on it. Um, basically I just kind of cleaned up. There was a lot of crust on the screen so cleaned up that vacuumed it air air blasted it and then this is like a car hood boom it goes up you can see all the stuff to it the only thing is i have it right now it came in the mail i have to put a new fan for the motherboard that is the only thing i have to do which these are fairly easy the big kind of downside though is that this is running a hard drive so boot on this no joke it's about a two to three minute boot time by the time you plug it in, it goes through all the sequences. It takes a little bit time to boot. And you can see new power supply on it. Dollar bill acceptor works. There's no money in it, obviously. It's cool. And again, looking at the front of it, like the, it's just clean. The plastic on it is clean. The side art is the side art, but this is clean. Always has a nice little track mode. Again, you touch to wake up. Awesome stuff on a mega touch. So as you guys can see, it's such a unique design and it's slim. This thing is light. It's got two wheels on the back, a nice handle that you could tilt this back and move it almost like a hand truck. Like I love the design of this. It's just so unique. It's if I didn't have mine, I would have kept the Z back, but I knew I was going to get my RX. So I do have a very unique idea that I'm going to be doing starting Christmas, New Year's break that week is I'm going to be taking my ultimate handheld, which you guys would know as a switch. And I'm going to be making a dedicated arcade cabinet for it. Um, it's going to go into YouTube definitely. Probably, like I said, when I was mentioning about streaming and all that. I'm going to be starting a new thing because I do get this question a lot, especially when it comes to hyperspin builds. And honestly, now with the ultimate handheld stuff, um, I'm going to be doing games and telling you if it is able to be played with arcade sticks. Um, so, for example, there's new PC games that come out. Hey Vic, does this game work with arcade sticks or do you need an Xbox controller? So I do plan to do that kind of stuff very soon. That'll go into a live stream type of scenario where I'll probably give it 10 minutes of me playing it. I'll be able to tell you if it's good to play on arcade sticks or not. Uh, but again, the idea is to make a dedicated ultimate handheld cabinet. That's my next plan. I was thinking about taking this Z-back design, but I don't want to do like the IR arcade where the speakers are here and it's, I, 
I'd rather do, I'd rather keep it a real arcade. So I might be kind of doing a Konami style cabinet. I'm not too sure, I'm still thinking about the design of the cabinet, but that'll be definitely a future project that hopefully you'll enjoy and stick around. So now on that note, let's talk about why I'm really making this video. And that is to talk about the touch edition hard drive PCs, all in one touch screen, modern day mega touch stuff that I do. Um, so first thing off the bat, I gotta give a big shout out to Your Gaming Techie. Um, Your Gaming Techie contacted me about, I would say it's a good two months ago, two or three, it was Thanksgiving time. Um, and he got one of my drives. And with him and his help, we discovered something very big, kind of crucial, um, that actually made me stop doing hard drives on this. Um, basically, Windows did an update and the update removed Flash Player. That then deemed the whole front end as unusable. Um, so shout out to him real quick because he was able to help me and guide me on how to fix the situation. Um, again, it's, it's not complicated, it is kind of complicated, but if you are looking at something like this, you're gonna need a brand new fresh PC. I don't suggest you doing it with an already you know, used PC that you have, only because I had to wipe this computer specifically. I got kind of lucky, I'll be honest. This is my dad's computer. I upgraded his computer. This was originally a Windows 8. This computer is about seven years old. It was a, it's just slow. It's, it's god awful. It's got eight gigs of RAM and i5 in it um, and a regular hard drive, not an SSD in it. Um, Lenovo, all in one. Uh, so when I upgraded his computer, I was like, you know what? Let me take this with me and I could try to fix my touch stuff. Uh, and then sure enough, it went from, again, it was a Windows 8 PC. I had to upgrade it to Windows 10, but it upgraded to a Windows 10 that removed Flash. I then had to wipe the entire hard drive and install a specific version of Windows, um, which came out to be Windows 10 version 1909, 1909. So apparently after 1909, so let's say 1910, Flash was removed. So that is the biggest thing that, honestly, again, your gaming techie, I believe his name is Carlos, he helped me out. He discovered it. Um, I hooked him up with the drive, honestly. I said, listen, take this drive and I'm not gonna charge you for it. You know, I'm sorry for the headache because he was like, Vic, I can't get the front end to work. I even went team viewered in for like two hours. We couldn't figure out what was up. And then we discovered that is the Flash, that literally Adobe Flash was removed from Windows and if you look up Adobe Flash right now on Windows or Google it, it's gone. It's like exterminated, it's death, it's like a, a, it's a whole thing. Um, so that's the big thing now that we discovered, or I should say I discovered, thanks to Carlos, is that you do need a very specific Windows 10 prior to 1909. So 1909 or prior, this now will work. So again, I'm using a very, very old PC. I mean, I probably would suggest getting an, a new all-in-one only because this takes like two minutes to boot. Um, again, it was running Windows 8. It's, it's a seven-year-old PC. It's almost like a Dell Optiplex if you think about it, where you could only do so much with it. I could put a new hard drive in it, but honestly, this is just going to go into my man cave downstairs, my battle station, and um, I'll probably just keep it. Only, you know, just to have some, some different games. So I have my Mega Touch, and I'll have my Touch Edition. But again, I'm making this video so that people know the touch edition is back. You just, you do need Windows 1909 on it. I was gonna add like more PC games. Um, not really much because you do need something and I, I looked up on Steam. It's point and click style games, but some of the point and click style games you still need the mouse and the keyboard for. Um, but I've been playing around, honestly. Again, you could do pinball on it, so there's pinball FX2 and 3. So I honestly have just been playing around with blue stacks, honestly, just to see how it's going. Um, you know, again, you have to do a APK downloader. It basically acts like a Google Play Store. Um, I was just kind of playing around with it, downloading some stuff, so I was playing Golden Tea. I just didn't remember if I ever showed off Golden Tea. Um, Again, I was just playing some random stuff. So it's pretty cool. BlueStacks, again, is your Google Play Store emulator. So it'll play almost anything on 
on an app, uh, almost like an iPad or whatever tablet you have. So it's a pretty cool feature. It's just honestly, with this specific computer that I have that is eight years old, seven years old, um, it, uh, it takes a little, it takes some time, as you can see. Um, like I right now, I was, I, right before I shot uh, the video, um, I downloaded Bluestack, so I had to adjust my location, the save location, the launch EXE location, that, that's why I had to cut the video. Um, but I was just trying to like download APK files. So again, I didn't remember if I had Golden Tea or if I showed off Golden Tea. I just downloaded like Metal Slug and Golden Axe. Um, just for kicks, I'm gonna do Golden Tea because I don't, I don't remember if I ever did Golden Tea on camera, but uh, I'll like Golden Tea launch, why not? Might as well show that off a little bit. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'll probably look up like bowling games. Again, it's almost, it's a modern day mega touch. That's what I, I call it. It's a modern day mega touch. So it's pretty cool. Definitely though, like if you, again, speed wise, as you can see, I definitely suggest a newer all in one, um, but it works. That's, that's the cool part of it. The only downside again, old hardware, um, it, takes, it takes some time, unless I put an SSD inside of it. But I'll play a quick thing of Golden Tea, why not? Uh, and then I'll play a quick game of like Metal Slug because I just I just downloaded the APK. I didn't test it. Might as well show it off real quick and then we'll call it a day on this video. So I could pick a character if I want. I could type the name. I always have the keyboard and mouse handy, but it's behind me. Essentially though, the main objective of this is to make it look like a mega touch where you don't need a keyboard and mouse. This specific computer is pretty cool because I could do volume from here, which is a pretty cool feature. Swap this and then, thank you for the tutorial. You messed up my swing. <laughs> I'm not big on golden tea. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not good at it. Mulligan. <laughs> and it's cool, as you can see, like before I went to the, like, you know, two o'clock position and the ball went that way. So it's pretty cool. I want some clothes, awesome, great, thanks. So two fingers to rotate. Again, this is what you would get on like your phone. If you downloaded like Golden Tea on your phone, this is what you would get. So I can now exit this app. Let's load up some Metal Slug. I didn't test Metal Slug, so let's see how it goes. If it fails on me, it'll be failure on camera, but you never know, let's see. That's the big thing, APK file. You do a Google search. In my earlier videos, I told you about it. I even recommended a website. And uh, so far, I've been trying to download a, a couple of them. Like I tried to download like TikTok, and I kept getting like a, a reject because it didn't work with this version of Bluestacks. Maybe it's gotta be updated, I don't know. Um, but then again, TikTok is a free app. So there is Google App Store in this and you can just download it from that, but I've, been just, I've just been downloading stuff from the APK files. So Metaflug is still booting. Um, as you can see though, I could open it like a phone and I have my apps up top. I might honestly just exit, oh, it was still at zero anyway. So we could run, uh, we'll run Streets of Rage real quick and I'll also run Golden Axe, why not? That's a classic. <laughs> Let's just see how these apps work. Sega! And it's pretty cool, like this computer honestly has a very nice like stand to it. It's not even a stand, it's, that's how an all-in-one computer is. Um, I probably on this computer I shouldn't run two apps because of the speed. But let's see, enter my age. One. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. This is cool. I was trying to download like the emulator like RetroArch, but for some reason it wouldn't download. You can save your game, that's cool. Rewind. Oh, this is cool. 
Oh, this is gonna be very interesting right now. I mean, I can make it work. Oh crap, did I do two players? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I tried to exit. Okay, all right. This is cool. Can you see it on the camera? <laughs> Damn, this is classic right now. Okay. Not bad. Oh, crap. <laughs> Great, yeah, bomb me. It works. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, old school streets of rage right now. Come here, come here. You got two of them side by side. Oh, I just got to go right to the chin. I mean, I'll be honest, yes, my D-pad is fairly big. Oh, what? Nice. Cool, all right, I dig it. Let's see how Golden Axe is running. That's pretty cool. I just like went into that APK store thing and it said Golden Axe and from Golden Axe it went to Streets of Rage. Yeah, I'll just put that on one years old, why not? <laughs> Choose a game. Oh wow, this has all Golden Axes. Oof. Oh, it might have multiplayer online, I guess. This is cool. Nice little rewind feature. Interesting. I don't remember if I played this or Golden Axe 1 on like the, the NES or the Super Nintendo. That's classic. No, I think it's Golden Axe 1. Oh. Wow, this is cool. Again, granted, yes, like my thumbs are out here. I'm pretty sure there's a way to like edit, but. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's uh... I just wanna see if Metal Slug runs, and if not, then we're gonna call it a day on this. Um, I'll let Metal Slug launch. I shouldn't have exited, but... Um, because of the YouTube. So I tried Subway Surfer. For some reason, it's a tennis logo. But that's APK stuff for you. <laughs> okay, and this was, this was the reason, like, to honestly make this. That's not my age. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. What's up with all these apps asking you about your age? It's odd. I'm not a mobile gamer. Like, I don't, I don't even know what the biggest app to play is right now. Oh, this is cool. Do I have to be on that screen? Yes, I do. I have to be touching here. Cool. Now again, my original video, what is that? My original video, I had a separate PC where you could spin the actual display vertically. So that's pretty cool, I just crashed the wall. Awesome. All right, Subway Surfer works. I'm gonna end with Metal Slug if Metal Slug launches for me. Cool. This is cool. I'm gonna skip. Strongest deck get. What is this? I guess this is like a... The preview of it was like deck... Oh. It's one of those. Make the card game style. Mission start. I'm not even reading. 
<laughs> I am not a fan. <laughs> I am not a fan of this. <laughs> this is like a car game style. But as you can see, it's pretty cool. I'm able to play apps on this. That was the whole reason. Again, granted, yes, Metal Slug, it's not like the Sega. You could download it though. Apparently there's another make you know, you could you could download SNES emulator on it, but for what this is and what Blue Stacks is, that is just uh it's it's cool. It works. So now real quick as you can see there's a website. You could basically check out the newest games. And from there you basically pick one, then you download it and it goes right into Blue Stacks. You could do any app, WhatsApp, Snapchat. It's cool, definitely a cool feature. Again, if you wanna do more games, you could look for more, you could search at the top. Pretty cool, can't lie, it's, uh, it's, it's cool. Not all the games will work with BlueStacks, unfortunately, because I got, I kept getting like a BlueStacks error, like, you know, BlueStacks wasn't updated or something like that, but majority of it, it works. So honestly, there you guys have it. The Touch Edition is back to working order just to get in that Windows 1909 must be installed. But hey, there you go. Vic VP Game Case Arcade Touch Edition.